so we have this sequence of questions and it's a like kind of subset of problems this one longest substring with at most k distinct characters then uh, i guess this one longest substring with at most two distinct characters and then this fruit into basket so we'll be discussing the overall you know the theory or the intuition of how we can solve all them all of them with a single approach so we'll be starting with this longest substring we are provided with a substring and we have to return longest substring that contain at most k distinct character which mean at most there should be k distinct character for example if k is 2 here so there should be only in that string in that string it should be longest also and there should only be two distinct characters basically and if you'll if you'll go for another example like uh, a a b c d e and e and c e and if you will be asked that uh, give me a string give me the longest string with uh, two distinct characters with at most two di two distinct characters uh, with at most that contain at most two distinct character which means uh, in that string only two characters are allowed and it should be longest also so uh, first string of that size is kind of this thing a a and b because in this uh, in this a is there b is there so it's kind of a substring a a b with a size of 3 another substring of same type can be uh, c d but that's not uh, much of important because it's of two size then another string will be e e c e so in this you can see that we have three we have two characters at most we can have two characters at most we can have two two characters and the size is 4 and the size is 4 the two characters we have are uh, we have e and c and they can be in any number like for example we have three e here and single c here so it's four character basically four is the length so that's what they want us to find okay so the basic intuition the basic intuition is will be forming that also the basic intuition uh, behind if we'll see if we'll take the simple example e c e b a e b e b a with k is equals to 2 so we'll be using sliding window here and in sliding window uh, we'll be keeping a pointer on 0 and another pointer on 0 which will be our left pointer and right pointer and then our right pointer will move our right pointer will move on to the right and what it will be doing it will process each and every element into a map basic thing basic thing for example if you want something Uh, if you want to get some idea of your window basically this is your window of size 3 okay and you want to have some idea that what different element i have so what will you do you will take them and you will make the count of them using a map basically or you can do it using array also but maps are faster so uh you'll do that okay so first thing what we need to do whichever element will be pro uh, whichever element will be processing through our right what we just want that it should insert it into our map array so every element you traverse you should be knowing that yes this element exists and this is the count of this element okay so how that will be useful uh, i'll explain it to you that will be useful in this manner whenever whenever you have a substring just assume that this is a substring okay and right now right now your map size is right now your map size is 2 what does this indicate this indicates that your substring only have two distinct character a or b anything characters can be anything that your map that your substring currently have only two different characters for example uh, your map size is 3 this will this will show this will show that currently uh, you have three distinct three distinct characters and we are not talking about count of them their count can be 3 their count can be 30 their count can be 1 but there are three distinct character so our main focus our main focus will revolve around the size of map that whatever we are asked what we are asked in this we are asked that there should be at most k distinct character k distinct character which means the size of our map size of you know that map holds you know uh, distinct characters only frequency basically i am not talking about proper map i am talking about a frequency array so our frequency map our frequency map will only hold distinct element and the size of that map will determine that uh, how much you know distinct element in that substring we have so for example i'll give you different different examples uh this is a substring okay this is also a substring and this is a substring then this is a substring 
when we process this substring keeping our left on this and keeping our right on this we got to know that our map size our map size currently is 3 similarly in this we got to know map size is 4 in this map size is 6 and in this map size is 1 so these were the data which were available to us what we want basically what we want that at most that at most you can have only two distinct characters so this one is nullified this one is nullified this one is nullified only this thing uh, is valid because at most it is not at most only this thing is valid so this will be our longest string this will be our longest substring with at most two character and minimum they can have single character also so now let's jump on to the main core the main uh, you know salt of the problem the main salt of the problem is whenever we will be traversing through our substring okay we will be inserting values into our map in a frequency array okay just suppose that currently map goes out of bound out of bound means currently map is holding a b c three different values and map size is right now map size is three so what will we do how should we deal with that what we'll be doing is basically we'll start popping our map okay we'll start popping our map we will not uh, will not disturb our array no we will eventually disturb our array my bad will disturb our string will disturb uh, will disturb our window basically this is my window if this is my window and my map right now is telling me that your window contains three different element but i do not want those three element i want every uh, my every window should have only two distinct elements so whenever i'll find some windows which are containing you know different elements like you uh, different element than my k basically my k is right now my k is 2 so whenever I'll find my map that it is over k it is greater than k what I'll do I'll start pulling out those element I'll, uh, I'll, and I'll start shrinking my window I'll cut I'll start cutting those element from left and I'll start shrinking my window so eventually my new window would look something like this because I have shrinked my window and these elements do not matter to me anymore so the concept is that we need to shrink our window whenever we find that our map size is going bigger than 2 once it fall under the range of 2 which means once it is under 2 or it is just equals to 2 what we need to do we just need to keep the size of it basically I will give you 3-4 scenarios of the same thing okay uh, this is our substring again just imagine that these are your different different substrings okay and this is your substring now this substring map shows us that current size is 2 and this substring can be even a a a a a b b b b b b b b n number of b's you are not you know you are not uh, concerned about the size you are not concerned about the number of a's and number of b you are just concerned about the distinct characters so the only two character we have is a and B basically then we have another uh, map which is which is showing that it has four distinct element so they can be a b c d and they can occur n number of time b a d so this can be our substring okay now if when will we pro when will be processing this substring our window for example on a point our window looks like this a d b a b something something our window looks like this at this point at this point as soon as our map value goes beyond 2 which means as soon as our map size grows up more than 2 which means this is my window I was expanding my window to my right and as soon as a new character entered for example a a b b I'll be taking very simple example b b b a new character c entered as soon as c entered my size uh, my size of map goes up it goes up at that point at that exact point what I'll be doing I, I will not expand my window anymore I will not expand this window anymore I'll stop on that point I'll stop on the right damn point I'll stop here and first thing which I'll be doing I'll start I'll start you know uh, cropping my window I'll start shaving my window from left I'll start eliminating the element in order to make this window map size again too please get this after this after this has happened after this has happened my first thing my first thought will be that my map size is greater than 2 now what I need to do I need to shove my you know this window this whole window from left because my right pointer is currently on this that's how sliding window works my right pointer on this now I need to chop my left so I'll start chopping one by one and as soon as I chop there are two things 
there are two different things which i need to do as soon as i'm chopping it the foremost thing the first imp most important thing which i'll be doing i'll be decreasing the count i'll be decreasing the count of this value in my map because if you'll say that currently your map is having this configuration okay and you'll ask me that i have chopped single a so what you expect me to do that i should also remove this two and i should also update the value to one okay now just imagine in the process of doing that you did it again and suddenly a is no more in my array you made my a disappear and here a is zero but if i'll make it zero now nah, this map will still show me this map size will still show me equals to three which will be greater than two and my conditions is currently false because in my substring i do not have any a in my substring i only have b b and c so what i need to do as soon as something becomes zero as soon as something becomes zero i need to remove it so there are only few steps which i have explained and i'll be showing you the code first thing declaring map and left and right pointer give me a moment yeah second thing uh, sliding my window this is my basically right pointer which will be sliding on every element and this is a character this is a string so we'll be take, taking out each character so we'll be taking out each character from the string as my right goes to that character so you know now how sliding window works that's how it's working then increasing in frequency array every element will be increased in the frequency array how many you know count they have as soon as my size goes greater than my desired value currently my desired value was 2 so as soon as my map size goes greater than 2 which i have already explained that as soon as my map value c enters and as soon as my map size goes greater than 2 what i'll be doing i'll be taking out characters from left i'll start taking out character from left and i'll ch i'll you know decrease them i'll i'll decrease the count in my map also and on the same spot on the same spot i'll also check that by some mean by some point if that character uh, become zero and i should remove it also because if that become zero and i haven't removed it so basically eventually my size of map will be showed as the like it's still 3 so it will be showing that still 3 so what i need to do i need to remove that character so i have removed that character which is currently zero which means that is not present in my substring and then after that my left will increase which means my window will shrink this is whole while loop this only execute this only execute in a single condition when my map size becomes greater than my provided value my provided k distinct value which indicates that your substring is currently having more than 2 in this case more than 2 distinct element and after that after completing each while loop this uh, this window is still on so after completing you know whole iteration when my before increasing my window to the right i'll check the length i'll check the rent because uh, length will be right minus left plus 1 so that will be the length and i'll keep the length i'll just return now if you have understood this question rest two question will be extremely simple why because this question this question <laughs> literally replaces that k with 2 that's it we did nothing the whole code the whole code is same we just replace this k with 2 because they only want us to keep two distinct element for example the question changes to four distinct 10 distinct element something something you just need to change your condition for with map size similarly in this question also this is the whole crappy question uh, you are given <clears throat> tons of you know input and you will be confused but in this question also there is same thing you can start from anywhere you can start from anywhere and you just need to return maximum number of fruits you can pick so if you will read the question you will get to know what is going on but and they are saying there are they have two basket blah 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 nothing the question is simple that you can only have two distinct element you can only have two distinct element as you can see that i am using two here you can only have two distinct element and you just read need to return the maximum number maximum substring which you can form one more thing here we are provided with number it's not string so what we are doing instead of you know taking out the letters in character form we are just directly using them and here i should not be using character it should be int ha uh, it should be int i should not be using character and if i'll run this this will definitely run and this will definitely get submitted also i've already submitted it 193 cool shit so thank you for